So, all right. So I have a, a really good idea about uh, ballads. I stole this idea. Uh, you have to to get ideas for effects and looks. You have to watch other people. Uh, f best thing you can do is you can watch music videos and people, uh, you know, doing bootleg recordings and whatnot. This idea, I saw the lighting designer for Chris Daughtry do this. I, uh, you know, and you can watch the video hall, the one where it's the live concert and the lights just kind of go crazy. It's a slow pan that's going on. I, uh, almost, I think I have this on every show that I do. There's like, a, I call it a slow big pan. And, uh, I actually mix, have one scene button that mixes several scenes together and just creates this explosion. And then I, I also have this slow tilt, very slow. That way it gives the lights a little bit of motion, just moving back and forth. I think it's just like a, a like a pan left or right type thing. So uh, this is what I do. Uh, let's open up our groups, double tap our groups, and let's say, okay, select all my groups and double tap effect. So now what do I do is I select pan and I'll do a sign. Um, like as you see here, it goes nuts. <laughs> so you have to you have to really hone that down. To I think I usually do like 15. Let's see. Looking at it here, I'm going to use the wheel. Let's see, we'll find that. fan it out just a little bit because some want some to be a little greater than others and I'll fan out the effects size by a lot <laughs> and effects length by a lot let's see and uh, you know it's not exactly how I always envisioned it I, I have one of my other shows where it's like it's perfect um, but that's like a if you watch the music video home, that's where I, for, from Chris Dosh, that's where I envisioned envis this. And if you're doing like a lot of Christian work, worship type shows, man, this is really like the perfect moody for when it's like a slow ballad cr chorus part of a song. It, it looks really cool. Okay, so now let's say I like that, for example. I would actually do what's called my big pan. So I hit record scene there, and I say set, and I call it big pan. then release it from there. Uh, you know, I could have kept it the same, in fact, in fact, open up that. So that way I can just, uh, yeah, so that way I can just, you know, utilize what I had before. Let's do, let's shrink this guy down, because it's, this one's going to be like super slow, very small, to the point where, you know, it's just the very basic I think I usually do it down like 15 degrees. And then offset it, of course. Ten percent. Let's see. And fan it out a little bit. That way it's just kind of like a slow pan, give it some motion. that out. And I'll, d I'll call this my little pan record. Hit it. Set. Little pan. And then of course I hit record and oh, clear that out. Hit record. And then now I have my blank. And then said release pan. And then you probably guessed it. <laughs> Go through and I type in my release 47. And then release 46 and then release 46 through 47 bam there you go oops so there's my big pan my little pan and now if I want to create that explosion let's say I like I'm on a dark red uh, where it's down like that uh, this is really fun, so I can create, uh, hit clear, of course, make sure your program is clear, hit record. Uh, I'm just going to pick 51. I, s I set it to what's called big pan, or, uh, was it, big course? I have different names. I, have, I don't know if I have a real name for it. Uh, 
notice it's blank. Well, this is cool. Watch this. Let's say I want it's not solo, a blind, uh, blue and white, and big pan. So that's scene three, scene seventeen, and scene forty-six. So I'm going to hit go scene. Where is it at? G I think it's G S. Hit go scene. See, it is uh, I want blind, so I want that's scene three, and go scene uh, seventeen, and go scene. 46. Now watch this. I can hit that and it magically runs all those and releases all the scenes. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what it did over here so you can get an idea of what the explosion or big scene was at scene 51. Scene. And let's say if I want, you know, I can hit my macros as well. But I want it to be like within a one second. There we go. That's scene 51. Bam. And you know, like I said, it's not it's not exactly perfect, but that's my big explosion. And usually at the end, I'll do like a three second. Three seconds is pretty general. And then you can go back and you can run. You can even make a, you know, release that. And you can have it just go back seamlessly. And you can uh, you know what you can do? You can even set like another one where it's like, um, let's see. In fact, let's do that. Record uh, that guy. We can call it um, chorus. I, I I have actually done this before, where I go, okay, I want this to be my chorus for this song, because if someone specifically likes something, or uh, I'll call this verse, if someone specifically likes something, so I want to go scene one, eighteen, and forty-eight. So. Go scene 1, 18, and 48. So this is a uh, scene, let's see, red. And let's say I'm on, on that, and I want to hit scene 51. There's my explosion. You know, let that go. And then scene 52. Let's say, okay, now it's time for the verse just took it right back. Pretty neat, huh? So, um, other effects. There is, uh, let's see, what else? There is a way to get these guys onto this board. This is cool for the hog full bore stuff. On my hog controller, I'd have to label them because unfortunately it's just buttons. It doesn't really, um, it doesn't really do much. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, you just can't, it doesn't say, uh, you know, it doesn't automatically label. It doesn't pay enough money, basically. Um, let's see. So those are called command buttons, and I actually have to remember, maybe I shouldn't talk about that, because I have to remind myself how that. I don't, oh, there they are, commands. Yeah, so you can actually go in here, and you can kind of, you can go, okay, I want scene one. And I, whoops, hit the guard. Guards, that way I can select scene one, but it doesn't, you know, move it here. And let's say I want that guy here, move here. And I can even have my big chorus down on four, whoops, move, hit the move button. It's not going to move. How about copy two? Copy. Maybe it's because it doesn't have any data. The idea is... Let's see, command. It's not doing it like I thought. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, another thing, I, I'll, I'll do my research and I'll show you how to do the command button. So that way, the, the idea is if I want to hit big move, I can just hit that button and then automatically does it. I'll, I'll come up with that in the next video. But this is what I do as well. I do what's called uh, show. Um, so I do my macros up there and then I can do a queue list. Uh, move it down here. There's a reason for this. I have some quick cues that I'll show you here in a couple of videos um, where I could run a cue list here and then I have my scenes and I also have my times. It's all right here. I want this view. I want it to look like this. Oh, make sure I do the guard. So record, view. There you go. Then I'll open it, set it. I call it show time. So the idea is like if I'm blank and I'm making, you know, screwing around with scenes, I can just hit show time. I'm ready for a show.
I have my singing directory here, my macro directory here, and my cue list here for anything special I want to do. So yeah, let me uh, let's uh, get ready for a couple, a few more tricks. I only have a few more tricks up my sleeve. Um, I think it's just the the cue list. Maybe I'll show you uh, some other fun stuff as well. Yep. Okay. Be right back.